Well, welcome back to Viking Valley Farm, everybody. Um, I am out checking some beans to see if there's some stuff coming up and I I do see some popping out and I do have about 15 acres left to go that needed to be worked up and we had some other things going on dad's working on corn and I'm gonna show you these probably aren't the first beans out of the ground but they are out Popping through this part here was the seed and it swelled and not an agronomist so I don't necessarily know what this process is called but it's not like corn where it shoots up and the seed stays in the ground soybeans the seed pops out and becomes the first leaf but that's a good sign we're supposed to get rain tomorrow. And we've got hopefully a good amount that are ready to spring out. And after this rain, it should be soft enough that everything will, will pop and Trying to think of what day this was planted. Saturday of last week. It's been eight days. This is not the first stuff that was planted though. So it's good to see that stuff is coming out of the ground. I'm sure there's corn other places too that is out, but I have yet to see that. Shirts out there. So I just fired this puppy up. Rain's gonna be coming soon. We might be on the edge of it. I don't know how long I'll be able to go if I can finish or not. Till just still going on in that field working in some manure. And I'm gonna get rolling here. So so I'm a few passes in. And we've got Some nice, nice ground here. Vertical till works good. I barely, don't even have the coulters scratching. Barely scratching. And just gotta make sure that all my seed tubes are open. It's not plugged. No rocking and rolling. There's moisture in the ground. It's just starting to sprinkle again. It's been doing that on and off here for a while. But so far, nothing to stop me. This is the farm that we have our bread heifers at. So, later this summer we'll bring out some heifers that we haven't gotten AI'd. And they'll, uh, run out with that new bowl that we got. Some of these are AI bred, some of them are bull bred by that bull that you guys saw me sell a few months ago. And I have one more pass going back left to go. And soybeans will be done good really good dad is still working away planting corn and uh, trying to do our best to get that done but it doesn't look good for him to be able to plant tomorrow which is a shame because a few good days left and 
he'll be good, good and done with that. And uh, yeah, overall, I think this next shot of range should be pretty good. All the beans that I planted before tonight, I think, should come up once the ground gets softened up and have a little bit of heat behind it. Get those things popped out and ensure that everything is not crusted. Soybeans for 2024 are in the ground. Hey guys, sorry about the jump and delay in this video, but it's about nine days after I finished planted beans, and some of them are doing pretty well. These are beans here, and uh. We have not finished planting corn yet either. These beans have probably been in the ground maybe 11, 12 days, and they've probably seen four to four and a half inches of rain, which is the same amount that our crops pretty much saw all growing season last year. So it's gonna, it's gonna be tough. A lot of spread out, uh, corn acres trying to get stuff planted when we can but here's some of our alfalfa yes there is plenty of volunteer corn growing but overall that's coming up nicely the early planted corn or we weren't early early for corn planting but our early stuff looks pretty good and we have not been able to chop hay yet and there are only a couple people in the area that have and the forecast has just been wet so that's going to conclude this video stay tuned for some upcoming stuff maybe get some more footage of the corn planter but uh we're hopefully going to be chopping hay soon. Stay with us. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys subscribing, liking, commenting, letting me know what you liked, disliked. And with that, Carter out.